Good morning. It's Friday, May 29th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Double-Edged Sword of Adoption, and our scripture is Romans chapter 8. Paul writes, For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share his glory we must also share his suffering. I learned many years ago that when it comes to parenting, there's nothing stronger than adoption. A natural birth carries with it parental rights and responsibilities for both the parent and eventually the child. This is also true in adoption. However, as we've seen the move to allow children the right to emancipate from parents and the rights of parents to disown children, there is a marked and different finality to adoption that makes it nearly impossible for adoptive parents to disassociate themselves from the child they received. This concept is immeasurably magnified in the spiritual realm. When God adopts you as his own, it is eternal and unbreakable, and it's on a much deeper level than legality. God's own spirit takes up residence within his adopted family to knit together the divine and human. God's word declares this to be true and reminds us it takes a sharp sword to slice that thinly. The distance between what separates us from God as simply his created beings, loaded with free will, dangerously so, and the life that has been surrendered to the adoptive process as accepted in the beloved family of Jesus Christ. Yet, that's exactly what God's word promises. Hebrews chapter 4. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And as we are on the matter of God's adoptive ways and this issue of God as parent of us all, creative-wise, and God as parent adoption-wise, shall we not also consider the two-edged sword of privilege and responsibility, sharpness-wise? The privileges are well known. God's promises for today and eternal life to boot. But the responsibilities are just as well known and just on the other side of that sharp blade. To be a child accepted, never disowned, and beloved is a rare gift and to be greatly treasured. To honor that gift is the other side of that sharp sword, namely responsibility. For those who take lightly that for which God has shed his own blood is to tread in dangerous paths. Yet today we see so much of that. Commitment has become as vile a word as change. Discipleship sinks into channel surfing on a Sunday to satisfy itchy ears. Tithe is a word relegated to all other antiquated, outdated ideas. And the list continues ad nauseum. And so, a word to those who have truly been adopted. Accept the Father like he accepted you. And the best way to demonstrate that is with a life that's lived in honor of the name you claim. Let's pray together. Lord, we can think of nothing more offensive to the gift you've given of your holy child Jesus' death and resurrection than for those of us who claim to be his followers to live like the world teaches. Help us to keep pushing on to the perfection of living in love and so honor you in all we do. And now for you today. Here's a new tattoo for those hands. Will what I do with these honor God? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.